welcome back and a happy new year. I trust all of you are very safe. Yes, we're here to do the weekly update for the Divine Feminine. For those of you that are members, a very big thank you and welcome back to your New Year's edition. Yes, the members do get these a week ahead of the game. So these were launched prior to January. So if you do want to get your content ahead of the game, feel free to come through and join us for our membership online at Yulvis Readings 5D. Very separately, we have a live every Friday and I may be adding additionals this year. So stay tuned and let's get straight into your update. Okay, now as we see from the cards, I will give you close-ups and we are going to go into the channel, the energy. Um, some of you are already moving into the beginning of the year. It's almost like it started. I feel psychologically a lot of you are really thinking about counterpart and really thinking about, you know, A, do you want a relationship? B, where does it stand? Um, some of you could be critiquing the situation and having this urgency and feeling like you're on the precipice of change. Um, I, I feel you're trying to put some of the emotion to bed and keep quite logical. Um, especially for those of you that have been on this journey for a long time, I do feel really looking at the first row, I'm noticing that we have in the heart space um, God of transformation. And I, I feel some of you could be giving it to Gaia. Some of you could be um, in your heart of hearts knowing that you've been in a, a particular predicament before and inevitably, yes, that change came and it was quite exhausting. It was quite emotional, but nevertheless, that transformation is needed. Even if you do love this person, you feel that um, transformation is needed. I do feel some of you are aware that some of these things, especially when we move through the hero's journey, it does end up being us that's blocking us in our way. And I feel from a spiritual point of view, it's almost like you feel like you're darned if you do, you're darned if you don't. And, and this can be in relation to the connection with your twin plane. Um, some of you are trying to rid this situation of your heart. Um, others of you, um, you really do feel this person needs to create um, healthy boundaries, but you feel maybe there could be some sense of an obstacle. And uh, this could be with a mother. This could be, with, I'm noticing through the yellow, uh, it could directly be them actually creating healthy boundaries for the karmic, which I do feel that, that they are, especially if you do go through and watch the Divine Masculine Road. Um, some of you are questioning, you know, whether you do or don't anymore, and this can be whether you do or don't love them. And I also feel some of you could be quite aware that maybe they're in a karmic cycle that they're really not enjoying. And this doesn't have to be a romantic partnership. This also, um, from a hold up point of view, can be a family related dynamic, especially with Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde in Gemini. I do feel in your own life, um, there could be people that are becoming quite interested in you. Some of you are questioning whether you're ready for a connection. Um, some of you could have a circumstance and you could feel quite misunderstood for, by a family. There's a huge attraction here that you do have for this person, but you want to have more openness within the connection. This openness you feel is going to um, bridge the gap. Some of you could hear information through the grapevine. And I also feel you know, it's almost like you synchronistically feel this person does have your very best interest at heart. So if they are delaying or avoiding, it's for a given reason, okay? Um, but ultimately, I feel this person, there's a bit of jealousy coming through. And I feel, you know, just be really careful, especially with Black Moon Lilith at the moment. I feel we need to be careful to cause that jealousy, especially with Mars retrograde. I am seeing that a lot of you are wanting to change your image. I'm seeing that a lot of you are wanting to change your style. And it's almost like you're in this recovery zone. Some of you are even saying, hey, you know, when am I going to have more energy? When is this energy going to pick up? And I particularly do feel there can be this urgency and anxiousness, especially moving into the month of January, particularly because this month we do have Uranus and Taurus moving direct as well as Mars. Um, amongst some of the transits. So spiritually and in your aura, you're going to feel this urgency. And I'm noticing through the rebirth here, there could be a resurrection of this connection, especially.
Okay, there's a lot of chemistry, as I mentioned, and you're really wanting that open, that openness. Um, there could be self-esteem coming up relating to Divine Feminine. I'm noticing the rebirth energy here, especially surrounding our physical energy. We're trying to get balance. This could be, you know, after the silly season, saying, okay, it's time to deal, especially with Mercury retrograde. Mercury can be what we eat at a collective level. And I do particularly feel there is a... Um, a feeling that some of us are taking a more traditional approach. It's getting down to basics. It's being realistic and putting the hard yards in. Some of you, um, again, self-esteem, and it can be that the lower chakras need balancing. I do particularly feel there also could be a lack of chemistry. Now, that can be within your own energy. I'm not particularly feeling, you know, some of you could be questioning, is this person even attracted to me? Um, but I really don't feel it's them, dogs. I feel it, it could just be merely a vibration we're going through for whatever reason. Yeah, some old emotions are getting let by the wayside. Uh, I also feel the temptation energy. And I really don't think the temptation energy is going to work too well. So what do I mean by that? Some of you could be worried or hearing gossip through the grapevine that maybe there's a karmic, maybe there's another person, maybe another one will come. Um, I'm really not seeing that on this occasion. I do feel there's a bit of shadow work that Divine Feminine is doing. Um, I don't necessarily feel you've given up as per se. We do have the surrender card um, in reverse. So it's not that you've given up and I don't feel you've given up on yourself. I feel you're looking at things that you want to address inside your life, but you do have a very set... Um, you have a very set guideline as to what you feel would give you the – you're doing it from an educated point of view. So what can those things be? A person who's able to create healthy boundaries, a twin or other. An individual who has – and nothing is ever clean. Let's just be perfectly honest. In any relationship, there's always baggage, but it can be neat. It can be organised. It can be dealt with by that individual in their own particular fashion. So it doesn't have to particularly show up in a perfect sense, but some sense of forward momentum, commitment and team-orientated activities in Divine Feminine's view needs to happen. Some of you are wanting those plans and it's almost like I'm seeing, you know, in the rebirth, you'll, you'll move hell and high water providing you can see that this person is committed. You're very committed to your own spiritual path as well. And there has been a lot of healing. Some of you, it could be that you're going to coaching sessions. It could be that you've really spiritually worked on yourself at a very individual level. Others, it might be that you're choosing to um, you know, kickstart wellness, um, kickstart maybe therapy or whatever you're spiritually choosing, but it's very quite self-focused at this point in time. And these bad habits, I do feel, and patterns, I do feel a lot of you are really feeling the urgency um, to shift. You know, I was having a very candid chat to a spiritual friend of mine, and we were discussing the astrology moving forward into 2023. And especially from a collective level, and I know Twin Flames usually have their wake-ups prior to the collective, um, definitely some of you could have been feeling this, almost like we can't avoid our wounds. And, and there is this level up this year. There is this feeling that we do have to address them, both with Chiron and Aries, Jupiter and Aries, and later on in the year, the North Node moving into Aries. So inevitably, both for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is a very bold, assertive energy, but we do need to try and keep the harmony there and balance. Um, some of you are thinking this person only wants to be intimate with you and that's all. And so there has been some space. It's almost like you want the emotional connection. You want the traditional standard emotional connection. <clears throat> yeah, you, you also want to be valued. So you, you want to have that. Yeah, it's spiritual. Okay. Okay. How does divine masculine really feel towards divine feminine in that department place? They don't want you to feel that. That hurts them. They don't want you to feel that. It's not just fun for them. It is a connection. Uh, they know you're being patient. They are trying to work on their demons. They think you're silly when you think that. 
because that's not the way they see this. They're going through a spiritual journey themselves, and they feel that they value you very much. Okay, what is this openness? Is there communication coming in, please? I feel some of you could already be, and there is a transformation in that department, and you, some of you may have a chat, and there could be an honest, earnest conversation for some of you where this individual really does spiritually feel they're not giving up on you. They do want to make that transformation. They do want to make those changes. I'm also being shown that nobody's going to take from you what is truly yours. We do have the theft card in reverse. And so if you do need to be vulnerable with this individual and you are at that communication stage, do such because I do see this particularly can go in your favour. Take care, beautifuls. I hope you enjoyed the read. If you do want this content a week ahead of the crowd, come and join our beautiful members on YouTube. They're fantastic, and we do have Discord to chat for that emotional support. Happy New Year, and I will see you for the live on Friday for the premiere, and the next Friday we are officially back on board and live. Come join those super chats, click the bell on them, and you will be notified. Thank you.